Hey guys! Welcome back yeah. to my channel! <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Paris, and this video is just going to be a comparison between five Ontario universities. Everything that we say in this video should be taken with a grain of salt because it is all based off of our personal opinions and just research that we did when we were applying to universities. I wanted to make this video because I think a video like this would have really helped me at the time. So yeah, enjoy! Um, first question is what school are you going to and what program? Or like if you have a general first year, what do you think you're going to be doing second year? I'm going to Queens. It's a general first year there, but I'm thinking about going into mechanical second year and then specializing in biomechanical in third year. Yeah, I'm doing like the same thing, but just at Western. Uh, I'm going to Guelph for mechanical engineering next year. I'm going to Waterloo for biomedical engineering. I'm going to MAC. It's a general first year, but after I want to do civil engineering management with a specialization in environment. Um, I'm going to Western. It's general first year and probably going to specialize in mechanical. Don't know what after that. I'm going to Waterloo for civil engineering. Okay, <coughs> so um, stand in order of tuition prices and then state them after we stand in order. 18 and a half K. Ours is about 16,000 for Western. I think mine's about 13.5 thousand. And then Mac is 13,000 as well. Our uh, goal's about actually about 12 K. Stand in order of social life. <laughs> Based on the year. He's in the front. <laughs> I think it's probably us next than you. Queens is the number two party school in Canada. So this is um, based on stereotypes, but like stereotypes are based on some kind of truth. So maybe this is true. Um, guess we'll find out next year. Stand in order of general engineering. Okay, so so we'll do eng first. Okay, so eng is like water and McMaster Queens. Okay, well, let's switch. Um, That's alright. Yeah. <laughs> no. Now stand in order of oh, okay. general, yeah. general yeah. academic yeah. rankings. Yeah. So general is um, um, McMaster. Okay, I don't know if I saw Western, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then what are you doing? Okay, so this is um, general academic rankings, now based on subject. Stand in order of co-op program rankings uh, slash employability I mean, upon graduation. All Explain your co-op. Like, yeah, there's two streams at Waterloo. There's uh, stream four and stream, stream eight. eight. So for me, like my program is stream eight. Stream eight. Know. Yeah. So stream eight is when um, you would have two study terms, which is fall and then winter, mm -hmm. and then co-op for spring, and then um, anything onward is like an altered, al alternating. So you have study for four months and work for four months. Like so you keep doing that until you graduate. And it's mandatory. Yeah. Yep, it's mandatory, but it gives us a lot of work experience. It's mandatory for five terms though, so minimum five terms to graduate. So you can technically take one off. So for Mac, it's kind of similar, but we don't have two streams. You can do four month co-op terms, or if you happen to get an eight month or 12 month, you can do a 12 month as well. Um, it's not mandatory, but if you register in the co-op, like the engineering co-op, then it's mandatory. You have to do at least 12 months. And then there's this mandatory 24 hours. No, mandatory 20, 20. What? 20 mandatory 20 Mac is mandatory 12 <laughs> Western Western has mandatory does not have mandatory co-op uh, but you can do between 12 and 18 months for co-op uh, usually do it in between summers or you can do it for a whole year and take an extra year um, Guelph isn't mandatory either it's a similar kind of setup with the alternating summer spring winter uh, seasons for co-op so first year uh, at least for Eng you don't have a co-op term and then second year you have co-op during the summer and it rotates forward through spring. Uh, Queens, I sit at the back because Queens doesn't have a dedicated co-op program. We've got an optional internship uh, program where you can sign up to get with employers around the Kingston area. And I think it actually has a very good reputation and it's really good, it's just optional, it's not exactly co-op, so I sit at the back. Wait, so does the Western one start it starts usually third year, I think. So third or fourth year, that's when you do it. Or you can do it between your summer and your And then Guelph starts second year. And then Waterloo well, starts second after first year. And so does Mac, if you want. Are there any special programs that your university offers that others don't? So for example, Waterloo and Guelph offer environmental engineering, mm -hmm. but all the other schools don't. And I think they're the only two schools in Ontario that do offer that, because I was looking at that.
At Western, there's biomed eng, and it's like a minor. Like other schools have it as a major, and you can do you can like specialize in the major, and then also have biomed as a minor. You can also do years. yeah. You can also do mechatronics. I think the only a couple schools have that. I know Waterloo has. So mm -hmm. I don't think many other have that. Um, as also you can do the IV dual degree, True. where you yeah. can do yeah business school two extra years. Um, you can also from that you can do law as well, and I think there's probably a couple other ones, but that's the main two, main three. Mm -hmm. And then Mac has engineering management, which is kind of like Ivy, but you don't graduate with two undergrad degrees. You graduate with, like, it's engineering management. That's what it's called. And then you can do an accelerated MBA after that. So that's what I want to do. And then Mac also has engineering and society. So that's, you take five years to do that instead of four. And then you can do a minor with that as well. So. Any other schools? Well, I know Guelph has well, yeah, the <laughs> environmental thing. The environment. Yeah. They also have <laughs> water resource engineering, because I was also looking at that. Turf grass management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turf grass management. That's not that's 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 that was the one that I wanted to do. Pros and cons of each uni. So if you were to just list as many as you can think of, of each, what would they be? Okay, so I'll the, try to Jack's about to be like, there are zero <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the pros of going to Waterloo. <laughs> yeah, so the pros of going to Waterloo are that you get a lot of work experience because even though it's nice to get a credential, um, like even if you go to say MIT and you get to say, oh, I got a degree from MIT. Once you're in the workforce for 10, 20 years, that work experience is gonna outweigh any credential you have by a lot. So because you get a head start on that work experience, you can usually outcompete the other people who are graduating at the same time as you. Uh, well, a lot of people during the summer, they often do some, uh, they do a summer job just to help pay for tuition, like they might work at Starbucks, they might work at McDonald's. Because of the co-op program at Waterloo, you're basically guaranteed to have some sort of standing with the company and be able to just get a part-time summer job because they already know you. And then once you graduate, you might actually just get in with that company that you did your co-op with because they've already known you for up to four years. And so when, uh, when student debt is a big thing, you want to get into a workforce as soon as possible. And so just going to Waterloo helps to alleviate that pressure. A con for Waterloo, there's so many geese. Like we're going to get attacked like every day, but that's funny. <laughs> She's gonna get attacked. I'm gonna feed some, them. Yeah, bread. I'm gonna get attacked. No, they're gonna attack you. <laughs> they're gonna attack you because they're gonna see the bread in your hand and there you go. <laughs> <bread. laughs> the cons are that you basically have no life whatsoever. Yeah. You are. It's like you stressful. You basically have no summer for five years because of the whole yeah. alternating thing. So everyone's gonna be enjoying their summer and then you're gonna be like either co op or studying. And there's Sometimes no in between. Studying, and you yeah. go straight into workforce, there's no break. It's just work, 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 work. Yeah. True Asian workload. Because that's getting edited out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's kind of similar for Mac, except it's not as intense as Waterloo. Like co-op first year is optional, you don't have to do it. Um, pros of Mac. I mean, they have a lot of like nature hiking, so if you're into that kind of stuff, that's the Mac is Shred the Bruce Trail. <laughs> I guess the campus is very nice. I mean, so if you go there, and of course, if you like nature, you'll like the campus. Another pro of Mac, I don't know, I feel like it's just a very like well-rounded school in general. Like I think academics are good. You're not as like stressed out as Waterloo. And you know, you have a decent social life and there's co-op, which is kind of in a similar structure as Waterloo, but it's not as intense. Cons of Mac? I mean, I guess social life isn't as great as Queens or Western. They don't have the dual, Ivy plus inch thing that Western has. But that's more, I think if one thing can be like, the campus is kind of small. Yeah. And, like it's, it's a, yeah. and Hamilton's a pretty like small city yeah. overall, so it's not going to be like, you know, basically the, the city is the university. Well, Hamilton's bigger than London. But Hamilton's ugly. Yeah, yeah it's a bit of a... You only go in half Hamilton. To reiterate that, the campus is pretty like secluded. So if you like that kind of feeling, then Mac is for you. If you like to be more in the city, then... Mac is not for you because the campus is pretty like isolated from the rest of the city. Uh, Western is kind of the same. It's a very well-rounded school. Uh, most of the cons don't come from the uh, school itself. Most are just kind of like the area around it. Um, Western's more <laughs> London. <laughs> no, I mean like I mean like ugly city. No, but I mean like London's or uh, Western's a little bit more of like a party school. Like it's still not like Queens level, but like uh, it's much more of a party school. So you have like 
things like Soggy that are like very much known for being the zoo. And uh, you know heard of that? No, no idea what you're talking about. They're always like the old room. Soggy's the zoo. Yeah, that's what they call it. The residence? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyways, yeah, so, uh, but outside of that, uh, our co-op's really good. We have uh, specialty programs like IV and Biomed and what we talked about before. And yeah, overall it's pretty good. Um, you know... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in terms of like, high, clout academic uh, institutions, you know, Guelph's got a less of an intense reputation than some of the other schools. But, you know, it's also got the pros of if you are doing co-op, it's got a similar co-op schedule to, I guess, Mac, except for you can start after Smith at his way. Mac, it is okay. if you are enrolled in co-op. Well, if you're enrolled in co-op, you uh, have co-op semesters starting uh, after second year, which is good. Uh, it's relatively small class sizes, so you actually get to like know your professor. It's not one of the schools where you fail 50% after first year. Uh, there are some schools that are 50% fail after first year. It's generally like once you're in, they try to help to keep you in, which is good. Um, and also like, you know, you end up with some relevant work experience. It's a good group of people. It's supposed to be uh, all around fun place to be. Man, imagine caring for your students. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think Guelph, just going off that, because I went there to visit, because I was going to go there for environmental engineering, um, they were talking about how, like, first year going to second year, it's, like, not that competitive, while with the other schools, I don't know if Western's like this, but you have to have, like, if yeah. you want, like, a certain average to get into the program yeah. of your choice, second mm -hmm. year, yeah. so that's kind of so I think downside. I chose Queens for a lot of reasons, I think it's a really good school, it's academically, it's competitive, it's, um, they got there around McMaster, they're kind of neck and neck in like the rankings or whatever. Um, and it's, so it's pretty high up and um, it's got a lot of safety nets. It's really hard to fail out of Queens. They try really hard to keep you around. Um, like if you fail a course, you can stay back for an extra month. You can take it again the next year. You can do a lot of stuff. So it's very hard to actually fail out of Queens. Um, they try to keep you around for the full four years. It has a very good social life. My sister goes there, so I've been to up to Kingston and Queens a couple times. It's really fun. Uh, everybody's really close. It's a really tight-knit campus. And um, this is kind of unrelated to engineering as a whole, but one thing that I do like about Queens is that it has banned fraternities and sororities, which I think is just good for the planet. <laughs> uh, the other reason that I chose to go to Queens is because it rounds you out really well. They're renowned for having a really good program that doesn't only focus on academics, but it also teaches you professional skills, how to interact in a workplace and stuff like that. So it has a really high reputation for Queens grads that fare very well when they get into the workplace because they know how things work, how to interact, and how to deal with other people. So they tend to go pretty far. And uh, yeah, so they've got like pr even courses just dedicated to like the practice and the professionalism involved in it, which is a big part of engineering because there's no tunnel vision towards just the academic. Um, I picked Western. Um, I was or originally gonna go to Mac, but then I visited Mac campus. And <laughs> and don't say that. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> yeah. I just felt like Western was a school for me. Um, <laughs> So, like, I worked at Western for the past few years. I did co-op at Western, and so, like, I kind of already know a lot uh, about Western and, like, seen the uh, Western student life and community for myself, and I, it's something that I, like, really enjoy and I feel like can be a part of. Um, one thing I do like about Western is that it's general first year, so you don't have to, like, like Waterloo where you pick a program, and then um, you have to, like, stick with it throughout the five years or four years. I like that Western is a general first year, so you're like forced to be taking all these classes, and then um, I feel like you get to like through those classes that you're forced to take, you get to like understand what you like and don't like better. And then I also like the special programs at Western, like IB and Biomed and are both something that I want to do. Um, so I actually decided I was going to do engineering kind of late. Uh, I was originally going to do Gen Sci. Uh, I was missing a course that I needed for engineering, and I. Well, if you're able to apply and then take the course before you go in. Um, so if you are really feeling engineering, if you think it's the right course or program for you, and you don't exactly have everything you need in order to apply in terms of like taking classes, uh, Guelph's actually fairly lenient with that. You can as long as you like make up the class. Uh, additionally, small class sizes. 
So you get to know your professor, uh, low failout rate, it's kind of similar to Queens with, the, you know, you can retake classes. You can switch around your program, uh, there's co-op, like, is an option, it's not like internship or whatever, I don't know how that works. <laughs> yeah, it's a good place to go. Well, for me, like, I was originally going to go to Western for, like, either, like, med side uh, or gen side, probably in med, because, um, like, I, w I still want to do med in the future, like, possibly. Like, I'm not sure. I want to keep my options open, which is why I chose eng instead, because um, with biomedical eng, like, it's still technically in the medical field, but it's just something, like, a little bit different. Um, and also, like, the co-op placement, like, the co-op program gives me a lot of, like, work experience that I can use. Um, yeah, so, like, I still want to keep my options open, but it's, like, also kind of in the medical field, which is why it's kind of, like, a last-minute decision. I was so, I chose MAC because even though reputation doesn't really matter too much after your first co-op, I still wanted a school that was good academically, and MAC is, like, up there. I was going to choose Waterloo for environmental engineering, but I chose MAC for civil because you can still specialize in environmental I engineering. Okay, I chose I MAC because the social life is decent. And I wanted a decent social life. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Better than Mark. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of like Mac as a whole, I really like the campus. There's a lot of nature around it. Um, that's like when I first stepped foot on campus, I literally like fell in love with the campus, as cheesy as that is. I really liked it. Um, also, they have engineering management, which I was going to do the Eng plus IB at Western, but I just really wanted to like leave London. Um, and then the Mac Eng management is kind of similar, so that's why. So I decided to go to Western because it's close. <laughs> so I decided to go to Western uh, because it was close. It's a good idea. But uh, also it has a good uh, overall, like, good program. I'm not for anything too difficult. I'm not for anything too easy. Uh, I'd like to be challenged. Another thing is that Western is a very open. Western is very open. So you go in a general first year and you decide where you want to go. I'm not quite sure exactly where I want to go. So I can also switch between programs and faculties if need be. Um, so if I want to switch into science from engineering, it's much easier than some of the universities I know. Uh, so that's another pro. And overall, it's a nice campus. It's a nice area. So I decided to go. So <laughs> I wanted to go into engineering just because physics is my passion, and engineering has to utilize a lot of that. Um, and when I found out about Waterloo's co-op program, that really enticed me because the way it works right now is um, a lot of students, when they get out of university, they're sort of left out to dry. Uh, trying to find a new job, and with co-op, you have work experience, unlike most of the people who are graduating, and you have some sort of standing with the companies you do co-op with, so a lot of people, they'll actually graduate with a degree, and even before they graduate, they already get an offer from a company that they've already worked with in the past. I've also been to the Waterloo campus, it's a very nice looking area, it doesn't look like a, I don't know, like downtown Detroit, it's a very nice open space. It's very like it's new. Yeah, it's, it, it looks new and modern. There, yeah. Like there's some new and mm -hmm. It is a very competitive school. They will leave you out to dry. If you are not suited for engineering, you aren't going to make it. So that's the one drawback if you're stressed about those things. I think I can speak on behalf of everyone who is in the video by saying pick a school based off of your core values and what you're looking for in a university experience. There is no best engineering school in Canada or anywhere in the world. Each school has its own pros and cons that work for different types of people and what you're looking for in a university. Ultimately, make your own decision because you're the one who's going to be studying there. Hopefully we get to do a follow-up video for this video to see what our thoughts are like after one year at our respective universities and that, that video will probably be even more helpful than this one because we'll actually know and we'll actually have experienced it for ourselves. Thanks for watching. I really hope this video was helpful and see you in the next video.